Question 18. Complete the table of values for y equals 6 divided by x. Uh, so it should be quite simple. Just substitute x from the table into the equation. So 6 divided by 0 0.5. Biggest mistake people will do is to just half 6 and say the answer is 3. It's 6 divided by a half, not 6 divided by 2. So dividing by a half is the same as doubling, which means that one has to be 12. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 6 divided by 5 is 1.2. If you don't know that, you always have your calculator to hand. Now the second part of this question says, on the grid, draw a graph of y equals 6 over x between 0 0.5 and 6. So as long as your curve goes between the points that you plot from this table, you should get your full marks. Remember, to be accurate, every square on here is equal to 0 0.2 on both axes. So just plot your points as close as you can get it to the points on the table. So 0 0.5 across and 12 up, 1 across, 6 up, 2 across, 3 up, 3 across and 2 up. Oops, that was supposed to be 2 across and 3 up. I was getting ahead of myself. 3 across and 2 up. 4 across is 1 and a half. 5 is 1.2. 6 is 1. Plotting the points accurately should see they make a nice curve. If they don't make a curve that you're expecting, then something has gone wrong. And could be worth just going back and checking the answers. Even if you get just one of the values in the table wrong, however, you're only going to lose one mark. If you plot it accurately on your graph below, you won't lose any more marks because you've used your own answers to do this. To get a second mark for drawing your graph, however, you need to join these up with a curved line. Now, do this as best you can freehand. Being a fact I'm doing this on the computer, I'm going to cheat slightly because my freehand lines are awful. As long as your curve goes through all the points, then you will get your second mark.